Alright, hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, hack your Wii and get, like, really cool stuff on it. it yeah, it's really cool, trust me. <laughs> Anyways, so, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your SD card. Since I'm on my Macintosh, I can't uh, put my SD card in. Uh, so, I'm just, I just made a folder named SD card and I'm going to put all the folders in it that's usually there. So, if you have a private folder inside your SD card, some do, some don't. If you do have a private folder inside your SD card already, just rename it to old, okay, old private, all right? So it's going to be named old private. Ugh. So then in the, over there in the description box, uh, there's a link to a, a, a downloads where you can download all the stuff that you need, and it should come in a little download zip thing and you can open that unzip it and you should have a folder named downloads so inside the downloads folder is a private folder and an installer.elf so copy the private folder and the installer fo uh, file and move it to your SD card okay now once you do that see uh, you're going to uh, rename the installer.elf to boot.elf let's see dot elf okay and then just close the downloads folder you won't be needing that alright so now you can eject your SD card and put it in your Wii so let's go downstairs to the Wii alright now you're going to turn your Wii on yes and you're going to turn your TV on yes you have to if you don't it won't look right <laughs> So then you're going to go down here in the little left co hand corner and do Wii Options. I'm going to do... Oh, those boxes going to come on white? Oh no, okay, the very left box, it says Data Management. Oh, there we go. Data Management, and then the very right box, it says Channels. There you go. Alright, now you should see all your channels that are on the Wii, and up here is the SD card, so just click on SD card. Now, like I said, I'm using my Mac and I can't put my SD card in, so. Oh, yeah, make sure you put your SD card back in there. Yeah, uh, there you go. Make sure you put your SD card back in there. And, uh, so yeah, you're gonna go. Make sure you click on the SD card. Yeah, so then, uh, it's a little message right around here should pop up that says, Do you want to, uh, load, uh, the boot.dole slash elf? And, yeah, just do yes, and then. It'll say if you were pay if you paid for this you were scammed uh, and and then another screen will come up it will be a black screen it says basically the same thing if you were paid you were scammed it's this another this is not supposed to be sold and part of a bundle and whatever all that crap and uh, so then it's going to ask you to press one just press one and there's going to be a little menu and just do install homebrew channel and if you want to you can install DVDX what that does is it lets you play DVDs on your Wii. I haven't had any success with it, but I know that's just me. Uh, so, yeah. And then after that's all done, you just do exit, and it should take you to the homebrew loader automatically. So, homebrew loader. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Should take you to the. It should do that. No, wait. I don't know if it'll do that or not, but. <laughs> It'll take you to the homebrew channel, sorry. Homebrew channel. And then it'll be right here and there'll be little bubbles and the bubbles will fall down and all that. So, yeah. And um, what the homebrew channel does is it allows you to launch homebrew. And you can put all this homebrew here. I'll show you in another tutorial how to do that. But it, it allows you to launch homebrew and you can put a whole bunch of cool stuff into games and whatnot. So yeah and then you just do exit because you're gonna have to uh, uh, turn your SD uh, turn your uh, take your SD card out to put the apps in and I'll show you that in my next tutorial so make sure to check it out and um, yeah and now we need to delete a couple files and uh, uh, yeah so let's go delete a couple files Woo! I just had some breakfast that really made me feel better <laughs> Alright, so anyways, yeah, like yeah, I said, you have to take the card out of the Wii because you have to put it back in your computer. Yeah, because 
Okay, so open up your SD card. You have to delete the private folder that you downloaded and the boot.elf folder, okay? You gotta delete those. Because what happens is if you leave them in the, uh, if you leave them in your uh, SD card, whenever you try to, like, uh, download stuff from, like, the Wii Shop channel and put it on and play them, it, it won't work. It, it, nothing will work on your SD card. So, yeah. Delete those and then remember to uh, rename the private folder to private again. Delete the old and rename it to private. Uh, yeah, so there you go. And uh, before you take it out, uh, uh, anything, uh, just do make a new folder on it in your SD card and name it apps. Because uh, you're going to need that once you like start downloading stuff for your, uh, for your Wii. Uh, yeah, so that'll be another tutorial that I make, so just stay tuned, I'll make it pretty soon. And, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think I explained everything. Uh, if you guys need any help or questions, you can, uh, drop by my site. I have a link in the, in the sidebar, or in the description box, and you can just check it out there. And, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. If you want, if you subscribe, you'll know when I make new, more, uh, Wii tutorials. I also sometimes make PSP tutorials, so... If you have a PSP, I make those kind of tutorials too. Yeah, drop by my site. We have a whole bunch of tutorials and a whole bunch of downloads for you to get and prizes and whatnot. And yeah, it was a bunch of fun. Yeah, thanks for watching.